Well, welcome back, folks. Uh, so first off, sorry I've been absent the last week. Um, I have been burned out from work, and then on the weekend I've been playing a uh, seamless co-op Elden Ring with my partner, and she doesn't want to record any of that or anything. So you know, I've just been busy. Uh, I've got maybe uh, geez, an hour and a half before I got to get ready for work, so I really only got a time for maybe one or two recordings today. I'm hoping I won't be burned out this week after work. We're fast approaching Christmas. It is the 19th of December, 2022 right now, as I date myself. And, uh, you know, I'm hoping maybe work won't be so busy, so I have a little bit, bit more free time after work. But um, uh, going, going off of the uh, conversation from last episode, or last, I guess, uh, session, it's two episodes ago, about the political system... We talked about how that was kind of busted a little bit, and I, I did find many, many forum posts where people have essentially confirmed that, yes, it is busted, and yes, as your um, people here lose influence, or maybe even from your main party lose influence, the royal court, uh, the third uh, political faction, gains influence at a ridiculous, nonsensical rate, uh, which you can... Uh, it doesn't even seem to matter if you adjust the gravitas. So, like, I played around with having, like, a Rakamani uh, with, like, a bajillion influence. I gave everyone in the party, like, a bajillion influence and gave everyone else zero influence and then ran the game for, like, maybe 40, 50 turns. And um, it basically didn't make a difference. <laughs> um, so it seems to be something to do with the amounts um, that are gained and lost per turn. Now, someone did call out uh, an interesting thought here, and that is that many of my generals that are uh, sort of acting as governors do have, not this one, uh, do have the political reformer uh, trait, which does uh, eventually give a negative 75, uh, negative 0.75 influence per turn per ruling political party faction wide, along with lots and lots and lots of public order, which is really, really powerful, considering that right now we would be losing um, seven public order here per turn, uh, none here, but yeah, um, it's, it's a pretty, it, it's definitely a problem. Um, it's, it's, it's part of my decisions there that might be gearing some of this into, into an issue. Uh, it even does that for your own generals, which is kind of surprising that they would be against your, your own party, but you know, according to the description, yeah, sure. They're, they're sort of not really for a party, are they? They're sort of for the plebs and patricians altogether, the one people dynamic. But the thing is with that is that, you know, at the same time, right, I have my Koenon Helenon, uh, my Sparta campaign here, which has run almost as long as this Medowee campaign. And I've used other faction generals just as much. And I've used that, that same trait just as much, I feel like. I think the only difference is that I'm I'm doing more combat per turn, and Medui being more spread out is doing less combat per turn. I guess I don't have that issue in my Sparta campaign. In fact, I rarely have this issue, so I'm not sure what went wrong here. Because you guys have seen how I played the game, I really didn't play it in that crazy of a way. So I don't know what the fuck is going on. It the the system is just bullcrap. I I don't know what to do about it anymore, and I I am really struggling to care at this point. Um. I uh, I noticed a few things I can mess with. Um, I could get everyone married. There's people down here I could get married. That would help a little bit, maybe. Or maybe it wouldn't, because the game's horseshit. Um, I probably want to adopt people from here, if I can, perhaps. Um, I can try that. Oh, no, I'm not allowed to adopt people from a different party. Okay. I thought I could. I mean, I guess I can just assassinate them. Could could do that. Um, I think Arakamani has to go home to attempt an assassination. Or or they just have to be home. Right? Is it just no valid target? Right. You have to have, like, uh, more, more traits than they do. So Damia here, as the general in Antioch, actually can try to assassinate people. Um, <laughs> it doesn't seem like that's going to have a high rate of success, and these guys aren't exactly super loyal to me. There's something to consider there. The noble family does own, um, what do they own here? They own, uh, Jerusalem. Really, that's not that bad. The, the, wait, oh no, it's the royal court. Is the royal court the problem? Yeah, the royal court's the problem. So, since the royal court, uh, has most of the influence, they own, uh, most of the empire. <sighs> I 
I'm kind of of half a mind that if I do eventually, I'm, I, I really am thinking about like provoking a civil war with them and then uh, uh, just recapturing everything. Uh, just killing off all their generals, getting them all killed or, you know, sent off to the seven winds uh, into the middle of the ocean and stuff like that. And, and then provoking a civil war and just recapturing everything um, once I've dealt with the Seleucids because I just... <sighs> I don't know. Like, on the other hand, I almost want to just do nothing about it and just exist with this reality of campaign because I just don't want to deal with it. It's broken. It's just broken. Okay. I don't know. It's one of those things. It's like I'm doing the exact same shit I do in every single campaign I've ever played in this game, and, you know, I'm getting punished for it for, for reasons that are not conveyed to the player because it's broken. These bugs have been reported since 2018. 2018 is the is one of the posts I found where it was reported, and Creative Assembly said they would take a look into it and maybe investigate a patch if they ever go back to patching Rome 2. So they're aware. They're just not fixing it. Anyways... Moving on, let's look at the turns we have to take here. Most of them have been taken already. Um, we could start moving towards Pergamon here, and I'm really thinking about it because Pergamon is, only has 16 defenders over here. We do put Piscinius at risk, which is a problem, um, and it might be taken next turn by this small stack here of 21 units. Um, if they're smart, they wouldn't do that. I'm going to go ahead and move out as if we're going to do that. I'm not going to go across the border, even if that takes a couple extra turns. They just have such a poor defensive force here that I really think that we'll, we'll be well suited to take it, even with a relatively um, thin army there. It's mostly levies, but hey, that's history. Mostly armies were levies. Um, let me look at my populations over here. I might need to move. Doesn't look like it. I should be okay to stay there for another turn or two. Here's Damia, the, the only potential assassin in the party. Something to think about there. Plus two authority, plus gravitas. Um, can I give you some zeal? I know I had a trait here that had like four zeal attached to it. Maybe I'm not allowed to do it on this character for some reason. Plus cunning, plus zeal. That would be that would that would work. Plus four zeal, there you go. I think zeal is required for um assassination attempts. Pretty sure but we'll maybe get you some cunning too. We'll think about that, right? And think about assassinations. Um, it would actually be easier and less dangerous to me to take these uh, commanders like Ozalces and take him and just get him killed by the Seleucids or something. That would be a little more uh, sensible. Unfortunately, this does mean potentially sacrificing like a lot of profits. So we look at Egypt, 15,000 per turn is making up more than the entire net positive of our economy in in, in small, no small part due to uh, plus 6% wealth here. He does have a little bit of like commander stuff. I think that I think I thought this guy was one of our um, uh, of our own family at one point, but I'm pretty sure he's actually the faction leader of this faction. He does have three um, ambition. So yeah, getting him killed would be good. Um, and then his, the person that takes over for him also has a less negative trait. Uh, due to these two traits, I can't really make taxes high because of populace. Ne negative 10 loyalty per level of taxes above high. I, I don't usually do that anyways. But diplomat's better. Diplomat's a little bit better. Can be. Uh, we have lots of factions we have high relations with, so they should be pretty happy with us. Um, you know, hell or high water. Let's let's get let's get him killed. Yeah, now we're that that cost us two thousand per turn, so it's gonna take like ten turns to get over there. So we lost about twenty grand doing that move. Something to think about. This uh, person's profile is broken again. I don't know if they were ever fixed. I thought they were fixed. How much money are we making from, from our uh, home settlement? Not too much because we're really focused into military here. Um, even got a plague chance over here. Well, you know, you're going to go across. Uh, maybe lose some people to attrition. I don't care. You're going to die too. Not at the same time, though, because we're going to have to deal with the loyalty hits. 
So I'll try to I'll try to fix this stupid situation. I tried to fix it through cheating because I think that uh, cheating is fair when the game is cheating by being broken. But uh, it doesn't seem to have worked. So I'll try to fix it through more natural means. But I'm pretty sure this isn't gonna work either. I, I think probably the only way to work is civil war at this point. Um, yeah, have an extra cavalry unit. Why not? Uh, you can hold down in Kyrox for a while. I had thought about making you run away as these guys I don't think they'll be able to reach though it's the food situation the food is okay for a while so yeah I'd prefer to try to hold Karox for a few turns if I can uh the Seleucids might come and punish me for that but I think you know I think they might be given a nosebleed if that's the case and I think I would be okay with taking a strategic like loss over in Karox to to weaken these forces even further. So I guess I'm saying, come at me, bro. Although, ugh, ugh, it would not go particularly well, but eh, you know, whatever. We have reinforcements coming, right? We have Yes Man coming. We have Arakamani making his way across. Where is Zero right now? Where's Zero's champions? Right, she just took Bomb, and she's heading to what? Harmosia? Uh, nope, <laughs> no we are not. Maybe Parsa. But they probably are very well defended, so I think we might all be trying to converge into this region. Um, that would make the most sense, I think. Okay, what else do I want to work on for this turn? We have our yeah defenders of the Seleucia. I think there's not much else to mess with this turn. I've already waffled for like 11 minutes, and I do apologize for that, but now we will continue. I had some agents moving around I did not even remember. That's okay. There was nothing immediate I really needed to deal with this turn. On the plus side, this kind of more widespread campaign with many, many large stacks um, has really helped me understand the supply system a little better. And I think there are more updates to that in the next version of DEI, which again, I have not moved to uh, fully. I knew they would do this. Is this really? This is a 20 stack, really? Wow. Wow, that's a really good 20 stack uh, with, with all these uh, elite uh, hoplites. Okay. So I'm fine taking the sacrifice because either, it means one of two things, right? Either next turn I move to Pergamon and I take Pergamon, which they lose one of their major cities. Or B, I go back and I trap yet another army <laughs> inside of Pisinius again. And then I just move to take Nicomedia, which again is poorly defended now. So either way, this was an incredibly stupid decision by the AI, but the AI just can't resist taking an undefended settlement. They just can't, even though they can see this army. They know it's here, I'm pretty darn sure. Love of gold can no. <laughs> Leave me alone, damn it. Pessini, Pessinous Part 2, Electric Boogaloo. Peace treaty, huh? Um, you're at war with uh, some of my military allies. I can't accept peace with you. I could, but my allies are going to drag me back into that war. Hmm. Well, I could accept peace and then just move across the territory freely. And I think I might do that. Has it been like 10 turns though? Am I gonna go down a reliability rating level? No, you know what, just no. No, I doubt they have an army that can really challenge one of mine. Just based on the kind of forces they have. My, my forces are better designed to deal with armies like what they would probably have. Um, my armies really more struggle against like you know, heavy infantry armies, heavy infantry plus cav armies. Hang on, let me adjust my mic here. It's a little close to my face. Okay, sorry about that. I've got my uh, monitors like adjusted left to further, which means like the, the little crane that my mic arm sits on is a little weirdly positioned now. I'm just kind of getting used to the whole setup again. Here, let me move that a little. There, there we go. Okay, sorry. All right. Uh, now what? Keep 
really aren't coming for me? Okay, yeah, keep starving. <laughs> I'm okay with it. No complaints here, certainly. All right, do you guys have enough food to supply me for like a turn? No. Do you guys have enough food to supply me for a turn? Two turns, in fact. Uh, it should only take me two turns to get out of there. Ugh. Wow. Slucid faction storage not doing so well there. Interesting. Get more over there, but yeah, not having a whole lot of faction storage is unfortunate for everyone involved. Ah, uh, this has become the big issue. It's just food. I'm trying to get my armies through when there's so little food to be had. You guys have enough, right? Yeah, yeah, you guys are fine. So I definitely want to stage over here. And we'll, we'll cut in next turn. We go to ambush stance? We can. Okay, cool. Prevent the AI from seeing us. That is always helpful. And I suppose... I'd rather cut in here from north if I can, but there's a desert, so... Uh, I'm going to have to do the, the, the fun and exciting little uh, single-click move all the way over across the universe. I could make Zero go even further to the east. I don't see why I would do that, though. What kind of food situation is down here? Enough. All right, let's quick save the game so that when I uh, inevitably take damage from the desert, my footsteps. I won't Shall tilt too hard. Shall I continue? I guess. Look back. Can't put you in ambush anymore, unfortunately. I'm like moused right over the road, and that's not good enough. Apparently, March. the only way to have success is to not be on the road. Forward. That makes sense. Do not look back. <laughs> I'm sorry. I go back and I listen to my commentary sometimes, and I sound so bitter <laughs> at this game. But I played it for so long. I'm so used to the little annoying things that exist that I just like I have no patience for them anymore. <laughs> I'm still having fun, otherwise I wouldn't be playing. Okay, what do we want to do here? This might be this might be the event of this of this uh, episode, and I think it will be. Let's go deal with uh, Pacinus again. Pacinius, Pacinus, however the hell you pronounce it, I don't know. Three four three garrison army. What's up, Halo? <laughs> So three pikes, uh, five elite hoplites, two, three cavalry, some elite peltas, some decent mercenaries. Every part of this army, except for this militia hoplite, is pretty good. Pretty good units all across the board. Not a whole lot of garbage. Meanwhile, we ourselves do have plenty of garbage. It would be quite ideal to me if they would just rush out at us. If they do that, um, I will have certainly have the upper hand. So this is probably how I'll do this. I'll do a double stack here so they just have a lot they have to cut through. And what are we looking at here? So no AP damage, but decent attack and defense, right? So these guys are going to be frontliners themselves. And this gives us this group, which I think will be fine. Uh, meanwhile, again, not a whole lot of AP damage. So this army is very not like greatly suited to dealing with their army, but it is what it is. Um, we have them on missiles. That's the big thing we do have them on, is, is uh, being able to shoot them to death. So that will help a bit. We'll put uh, one unit of um, Cretans over here. We'll put some Galatian, Galatian swordsmen over here. We'll put some... Uh, what are these? Silesians? Silesians over here, perhaps. And really what I'm just trying to do here is a lot of times when you surround them, the AI will be, I feel like, even more tempted to rush out at you. So I'm expecting them to do that. And if they do, that'll be a problem for them. Uh, they won't be able to expand in quite the way I think they expect they can. In fact, I'm going to put my Cretans more on this block over here. Um... Because I might just want to hold this position right here with this nice choke point instead of rushing into my own choke point right here. Um, and the reason for that that I'm thinking is because I can do stuff like put peltists on the edge here. I can put uh, archers on the edge here. And 
and maybe some more archers like right here. Battle go ready and await your order. order. <laughs> and maybe we'll support these uh, Cretans with a little more, uh, some some extra cav. Okay. So that's how we're going to run it. I mean, this is just so much to cut through. It's going to take them a long time to cut through it. So let's see if they want to rush out at us. Thinking they do. There's the order. You can see them going. Oh, predictable AI. The AI ain't intelligent. It's artificial, but it ain't intelligent. Now, I don't think I want to be on just fire at will here. I do want to pick my targets. And I do need to rush some troops out this way. Because, yeah, they are going to try to expand out this way. Let's go ahead and rush out this way here. And we will send in the, uh, the forces to come behind them. I don't care how you guys get there. Just uh, figure it out eventually. They'll, they'll be in position to assist at some point. Ready Very order. soon, it's shooting their general. They're kind of all tied up together, so I don't expect them to be super effective, but that's fine. Even if uh, the units that come out in this direction uh, just kind of get uh, hooked and baited around the map, that's fine by me. I don't need to kill everything at the same time. Okay, so what is over here? Yeah, Lancer Cav is a good target for for missiles, for, certainly. Enemy General's already dead. They have their own missile cav. Alright. What do I want to do with my archers? I need to find, hopefully, some pikes. Yeah, those are just in range. Let's get the pikes first. They're running in outside of pike formation, which is interesting. Go into guard mode. I don't really want them, you know, being like big fighters and jumping in and trying to kill everyone. That's not those troops' job. Not in this fight. Their job is to just hold the line and hopefully not die as much as possible. Slowly closing them off. Getting that surround on them. They're going to cut through these guys like butter, of course. That is to be expected. Okay, that's one pike dealt with. Where is their other pike? There it is. We're gonna get that too. Okay, luckily my Peltas did not waste all of their ammunition. Doesn't look like they did any shooting at all, actually, which is strange. I thought I had ordered them to kill these Lancers here. Uh, let's get some, yeah, let's get some Pelts into there against those uh, Royal uh, Companion Hoplites or whatever they're called. Scary, scary hoplites is what they are. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Those are uh, mercenary pikes. Let's get those too. Pikes being uh, priority one as usual. Pishtratoi hoplites. Not my biggest concern. I feel like they're not shooting the right unit. I guess they are. It's kind of a mess in there. What are those? Agriani and Axemen. Uh, they're not going to do perform as well as you would expect. Uh, because they're going up against uh, lightly armored troops, so their AP damage won't mean too much against those. But they're not terrible units. They're decent units anyway, so they'll probably win, just not as well as you might expect them to win. Okay, that's that dealt with. Let's have all my missiles stop. Felicians are doing their thing. They're slowly making their way around. Those are elite bodyguard infantry. Yeah, let's kill those if we can. Let's continue targeting uh, any any elite hoplites we can. Cavalry should be able to cut in now and assist. Get these archers dealt with. Just to chase those off the map. You can take this. Go ahead and move in. You also go ahead and move in. All right, now we now we're starting to get our flanks kind of kind of set up and dealt with. We'll move in the second line. We still have our reserve line. As expected, we have lost most of the uh, the first line. Quite a few men in there. 
My troops are stuck on the building here. Uh, let me adjust how I've ordered them to move, so maybe they'll get unstuck a little bit, perhaps. Yep, that's working. Annoying to have to deal with that, but that's life, baby! They're pushing these archers and peltas straight into my cavalry. You love to see it. You love to see it. Those will just chase those off the map. That's fine. We've taken their uh, capture point, or at least they are no longer getting a bonus off their capture point. Good stuff. I didn't realize my Cretans were already engaged, but that does make sense now that I think about it. Yeah, archers are not going to do the best... Like, missile units aren't going to do the best against all these hoplites just because they have good shields. Um, they're, they're decent units. They're facing the wrong way right now, so my archers here are getting good shots against those bodyguards. Happy to see that. And, of course, my, my troops here don't have the best uh, AP. Not the best AP damage. So, you know, can't expect the best performance. I'm putting everyone into a control group here, a locked control group, attacking, and they will all pick their own targets. Best way to deal with uh, wanting to get uh, some orders out quickly. You know, especially if you don't care where exactly they go, they just need to go somewhere. Put my general up for a little morale boosting. The, the first line is finally starting to actually just route, break, break apart. That's fine. So here comes our flank. Now this whole force will be pincered. Not bad if I say so myself, and I do. And now we've moved in those troops that are not in guard mode, so they will actually be aggressive and try to push into these formations. My Peltus actually got engaged over here. That's fine. <laughs> Go for it. I believe in you. Definitely going to have to do some merging after this. Uh, some merging of these weakened units, but that's fine. We expected to take some casualties. Oh, excuse me, I peeked my microphone there. Sorry. Uh, I mean, we expected to take a few casualties here and there. That's 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 fine. Go ahead and rally everyone. Anyone trying to run away, stop them. As I click out of the game, damn it! <laughs> Having two monitors. Everyone, get in. Get in on the action. Everyone gets a kill. Pretty hard defense over here. It's because uh, for some reason these units aren't quite pushing into the formation there. Already lost quite a few in this unit, surprisingly. Now they are going right up against front. Those uh, those royal, yeah, they are royal companion hoplites. Good lord. Well, they certainly lost more in that battle than we did. That's for sure. That may have been four thousand men, but that was half of an elite stack. If they had just waited, you know, if they had just waited, they would not have been able to, uh, like, I wouldn't have been able to go attack their city. Four choices from the AI. You love to see it. <laughs> and once again, the city is ours for the, the 18th time in a row. We'll uh, merge these. Yeah, that should do. Yeah. Any more mercenaries I want? Maybe like these? Carrion spearmen? They're kind of warm garbage, though. I don't think so. Nope, I don't think so, but I think, uh... I think next turn is summer, and I think next turn I would be able to reach Nicomedia. Uh, do I think I could take it with these forces? Yeah, probably. Maybe. How are we looking on replenishment here? Still got plenty of men to replenish with. How about here? Only 600 warriors there. I mean, we only have 600 here, too. I'd rather this army be sitting um, in Ankara. I do call this a garrison, actually. Yeah, I'd rather them be sitting over in Ankara. Um, it's uh, more defendable, and also it's a little closer to Pisinus, so I'll be able to uh, reinforce it if need be. Did you get a level from that, by the way? Oh yeah, this is another one of those generals I'm ostensibly not allowed to use because fuck me. 
Can I replace you with someone from my dynasty? Yeah, there you go. Here. Here's your replacement. Great. Excellent. Whatever. Um, here. We'll build a temple here. We will build a granary here. We will start building our... What well, gives me more wealth? This one. Okay. Start building that. Any other moves I want to do this turn before I end the video? I think I wanted Arakamani to start getting a move. I think if I move him here for one turn, he'll be okay. Let's find out. If I lose troops from this, oh well. But I'm pretty sure he, he is able to move into this territory and survive for a single turn. Meanwhile, the Seleucids continue to starve out their own forces, losing elephants. What a tragedy. Mainly for the elephants, but, you know. <laughs> okay. What else is there? Okay, you're going to hang out in Karak still. You're going to hang out over here still. That's a garrison. You're fine. That's a garrison. You're fine. That's it for this turn, I think. Uh, I guess spies. I don't want to do anything with spies. Swift and silent. Keep stealing food. Uh, you just, yeah, stay where you are. You're doing fine. And you are just, yeah, making sure I don't lose Susa. Oh, wait. Are you ready to move? Is that this turn? No, that's next turn. Okay. All right. Yep. Oh, well, we'll call it for this video then, folks. Pretty straightforward one. And I'll see you all next time. Peace.